the CFL's headline trade partners on the marquee tonight. Corey Boyd, Edmonton Eskimo is a bit of a reunion coming back to Toronto as he said hello to all his former teammates. And oh yeah, this guy <laughs> used to play for the Edmonton Eskimos and he gets set for his second meeting and a rare Monday night football game in Toronto as Ulus kicks it off. And a booming kick. Jeff Johnson with a 50-yard play last week at McMahon. Ray it's picked up. J.C. Sherritt has his third interception of the year. And Weldon Brown advances it a little further. The Edmonton Eskimos lead in takeaways. That's number 22 on the year. On his first down at the Argo 48. Giles steps up in trouble and drops. Back at the 52-yard line, Stephen Giles sacked. Giles comes up hobbling. He's had a foot issue. So Giles limping off, and Kerry Joseph comes on. Second and 15. And Joseph has pressure. Gets it away. He's got an open man. Kerry Cope. And Carroll knocked him down. And the flags fly. Second and goal from the one. Joseph off the right side, easy touchdown. Running was a big part of his arsenal, his game, and uses it effectively there down on the goal line. All the defense pinching into the middle to stop the run. Fake to Boyd, Joseph, and it's Kerry Cope. And that inside catch down to the 24-yard line, another tackle for McCune. Missed a couple between 30 and 39 this year. Doesn't miss this. And the Eskimos back in front by 10. Five for Cackard, second and five. They fake the sweep to Owens. Ricky Ray downfield, and this one is intercepted. At the 50-yard line, it's the safety Donovan Alexander. And he has his third of the year. That's his 21st in his sophomore season. Fake to Boyd. Joseph avoids one tackle, takes off. Big game, Perry Joseph down to the 10. And a quick hitter, knocked down. Knocked down by Ronald Clemens, and for Clemens, his fourth knockdown of the year. And he'll put it through, it's a 13 point lead and 10 points off. Argo turnovers for the Eskimos so far tonight. Couple of interceptions for Ray, 60% in the first half, and a throw over the middle, and there's Owens on cue with a first down to the Edmonton 40-yard line. And this one, he just steps up and fires a bullet over the middle. And it's to the playmaker in Chad Owens. So the Argos in the red zone. And Ricky Ray looks into the end zone. Even touchdown! What a catch! In the corner! I think we just witnessed our highlight of the night. Third touchdown of the year for Dontrell Inman. And all three have come here in Toronto. That's as pretty as they get. Argo fans want to stop. Joseph the out and it's intercepted. Pacino Holmes got it. And the Argonauts have the football at the Edmonton 24. The Jiro Kowalis at the fullback spot. Second man through Catford. Executed that play. Goes the wrong way on one play. Comes right back in and puts it in the end zone on the next. Here comes pressure. Joseph looking deep for Stills. And Stills has got it. A catch up the 10 yard line. Fred Stamps with his fourth catch of the night and his biggest. Outside release. Now he's got a step on Carroll. Now don't put your hands up to the last second and give away that the ball's about to arrive. First down in the score zone. Hugh Charles, the stutter step, finds a crease, touchdown! And the Eskimos get it right back. Doesn't like what he sees at the point of attack. And it's like, you can, you can almost hear the scratching on the record as he puts the brakes on right there, bounces outside. 
and accelerates untouched. Kuhn lines up off the edge. Here they come. Joseph in trouble. He's got an open man and Lloyd wide open in the flat of first down. And Boyd knocked out at the Eskimo bench, but once again, big second down conversion for Edmonton. Oh, was it ever? Eight for eight against his old team this year, and there's the first miss. And Chad Owens gonna bring it out. Owens trying to get outside. He gets a block. Still on his feet and now dropped at the 20-yard line. Kick on side. I'm wondering if they would think they've got enough time. There's Barnes stopped short, so now do you go third and four, or do you just kick the field goal and uh, we wait for a sign from that Argo bench? Yeah, they're, they're not going to. I'm a little surprised. Ricky Ray needs a first down. He wants more than that, and well overthrown. They needed four. They went for it all, and they turn it over on downs. The Edmonton Eskimos moved to five and three and have beaten the Toronto Argonauts for the fifth consecutive game. They sweep the season series, moving to second place in the West.